So in this problem, we're told to find the linearization L of x of the function at a. And we're given the function f of x equals x to the 4 or 5, and a equals 32. And we're supposed to find L of x. So in order to solve this problem, you're going to have to know this formula. L of x is equal to f of a plus f prime of a times x minus a. So they already give us what a is. They tell us that a is equal to 32. And so with that information, we can just solve the problem by plugging in what a is. So we know that L of x is going to be equal to f with respect to a. So our function f of x, which is x to the 4 or 5, we just replace x with a. We know a is 32. So it's just going to be 32 to the 4 or 5 plus, and then it says the derivative of f of x with respect to a. So we got to find the derivative with respect to x of x to the 4 or 5. Then we're going to plug in a. So this is going to become, we bring the 4 over 5 down. So 4 over 5 times x, and then we minus 1, so it's going to become minus 1 over 5. So we have this, but we're plugging in a. So it's going to become 4 over 5 times 32 to the minus 1 over 5. Then we're multiplying by x, right? And then minus a, which is 32. So now we got it in this form. All we got to do is solve. So L of x is equal to, so 32 to the 4 over 5, you can plug it in your calculator, but it's going to be equal to 16, plus, and then 32 to the minus 1 over 5 is the same thing as 1 half. So we have 4 over 5 times 1 half, which just becomes 4 over 10. And 4 over 10, we can simplify to be 2 over 5. Then we're multiplying by x minus 32, so we got to multiply it out, right? So we have 2 over 5 times x, and then 2 over 5 times minus 32 is going to be minus 12.8. So we've got 16 plus 2 over 5x minus 12.8, Then all we got to do is combine like terms, so combine our 16 and our minus 12.8, we're going to get that L of x is equal to 2 over 5x. 16 minus 12.8 is 3.2. So our final answer is going to be L of x equals 4 5x plus 3.2.